everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. I'm Julie Broughton. And I'm Lisa Bell. We start with breaking news right now. An Orange County deputy shot, a convicted felon killed. This is a live look from Sky 6 over the scene. The shootout began right before noon outside an apartment complex in Orange County. This was on Americana Boulevard near John Young Parkway. News 6's Eric Von Enken joins us now live from outside Orlando Regional Medical Center where Deputy Rick Stelter was taken this afternoon. So, Eric, what is the latest on that deputy's condition? This is good news, very much so, Lisa. So he was hit in the hand and the arm and maybe other places, according to the sheriff. But when he was brought in here just afternoon, he was sitting upright in the stretcher. He was talking. The sheriff says he's in even good spirits this afternoon. He was going after a known violent offender, a guy who they say had committed several robberies, going after elderly women at malls, snatching their purses and knocking them to the ground so hard that they were breaking bones. Uh, when the deputies encountered this individual, he was in a vehicle. Uh, they tried to tactically park the vehicle, and at that time, uh, the subject began firing upon the deputies uh, first. The deputies returned fire. Uh, the subject was able to shoot. Uh, one of my deputy sheriffs. So. Sheriff Jerry Deming says here at Americana and Rio Grande just before noon, Sergeant Richard Stelter, part of the investigative surveillance squad, boxed in the robbery suspect who came out shooting. It appears that the sergeant uh, was wounded and uh, then uh, the deputies fired. Uh, at this point, the information I have does not indicate that the sergeant was successful in returning gunfire himself. Deming says the other deputies here at the scene that were serving the warrant on the suspect shot and killed him. Uh, he has a violent history. Uh, at the age of 17 years old, he was uh, tried and convicted of an attempted uh, murder charge. Uh, he served three years uh, in the Department of Corrections and was released sometime within the recent past. And shortly after being released, he got involved in even further violent crimes. And today, uh, those violent tendencies uh, led to his death. Back to that deputy now. He's 45 years old. He has three kids, according to the sheriff, and a wife who was rushed here, flanked by FHP. This afternoon, as soon as she learned the news, she's upstairs right now. Lisa probably feeling very blessed. I imagine so. Eric Von Inken reporting live tonight. Thank you.